Hi, I'm here with my new Asus computer, and this is the model, let's get this kind of crisp, Q551, and just kind of zero in some specs for you, right here, you can see that, Q551. L is in Larry, and you can check the specs out. It's a 15.6 screen. And this is the 2 in 1. It's the tablet. Well, it functions like a tablet. I wasn't going for that, but hey, I needed a dependable computer, and I needed to do exactly what the specs say it's going to do. I think this is saying in search of incredible. Asus, well, I need it to be incredible. Let's take a look at this box. Okay, hold that for me. Okay, let's open this up. This box right off is very heavy. Um, this computer runs $9.99, and I got it on sale for $8.99. So this... Um, was a chunk of change to purchase and at this point I was just looking for speed because they have more than one seal on it yeah, at this point I'm looking for speed so if it does what it's supposed to do in search of incredible it's incredible that's what I need Okay, this is, oh, that's different. This is my first Asus, by the way. I never was going for an Asus. And the plug is like that. That's neat. Take a look at that. My last computer is a Lenovo, so I am new to the Asus family. And as long as it does what it's supposed to do, we'll remain in the family. This is neat. This is different. I'm used to plugging something. That I'm used to, you know, the tradition, though. You plug something in and plug something else in and you plug it into the wall. So this is a little different for me. I'm just kind of, it's wrapped in plastic, but it comes up like that that's gonna be different and based off what the rep was telling me in the store this must be the subwoofer as he was calling it. it must be like the little speaker to amplify sound which is neat um i have one and this is neat that it's inclusive Included um, Sonic Master Asus. That's nice. Um, yeah, that's nice. You got that really good. It says Sonic Master. Must be their brand that they have. Okay, next let's take a look at what we all been waiting for. The computer. Ooh, heavy. Now I picked this up in the store and honestly, it felt light. <laughs> the one on display. But this feels heavy, shockingly. I knew this box was extremely heavy. What is this? Is this something to kind of to wipe the screen off? Oh, must be like a little micro fiber or something. Oh, because this is touch screen. And of course I 
dropping little <laughs> little balls. Of course, I wasn't going for touch screen, but hey, this is some little instructions. Press the start button. I guess it's telling you what a start button is. The notebook guide. And we're here to help ASUS technical team. Preferably, we won't have to get acquainted with those guys and in search of an incredible warranty card and other little paperwork that comes with it. And let's take a look at the computer. Ooh, heavy. Feels cold. Wow. Looks nice. Ooh, so I already see my fingerprints on it. Hmm. Yeah, so it had, you can see your fingerprints. That's whatever this is made out of. It's nice and smooth. You definitely can see your fingerprints. This is kind of cold, so my fingerprints are getting kind of cold, but it's still fingerprints I can see. If that bugs you out or freaks you out, you may not like it, but a lot of these new computers have either this nice smooth finish or even some of those plastic finishes. They still do a fingerprint depending on how clammy <laughs> or how warm your fingers feel. Do I open it this way? Yeah. Oh, it's a little... Do you, can you pick that up on camera? It's a little lift right here. It, go, it, it goes from here to here to lift it up. And it's still challenging. You could do the lift if you want, <laughs> but okay, so it's kind of heavy a little bit. There's the keyboard everybody's been talking about. It feels nice and soft. There's the zero. There's the cat blocks. There's the number locks. Feels nice and smooth. I do use my keyboard. So I want my keys to do everything it needs to do. And this doesn't have the little right and left usual clicks if you're used to that so you have to get used to that it has a little i guess those are little rubber grippers those little grips for when you close the laptop down and gives it some extra protection on your um on your touch screen does this have a layer of plastic on it looks like it does does it look like plastic is on up to you Cause it looks it looks hazy. That's not. That's just how it's supposed to look. Okay, hey. <laughs> we know because I'm gonna do a separate video. Make sure you subscribe. Cause I'm gonna do a separate video. Um we'll be turning this on, setting it up. And let's look at the side. This is the left side. What is this where you put the power plug? Am I right? What is this little thing in my bow? Do we know yet? Make sure you have it on camera, hon. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's start over. This is where you have put the power plug, I'm sure. You know what this thing about Bob is? We don't know yet. Guess we'll figure it out. Um, you can tell me. Your subwoofer. Oh, my subwoofer? It comes right there? Oh, because he did show me on this side. Huh. So the subwoofer doesn't go on the usual side that I would put like a speaker. Hmm, interesting. That's going to be interesting to learn that. <laughs> okay, and this is where the Ethernet goes. Yeah. And I believe this is like when you want to hook it up to. It's like, it's an HDMI. I remember when um, the other guy was talking about plugging in your TV or something like that. Um, and these are some USBs. I want to know what this window button is for because I... Used to that window button right here. If you pick that up on on the new Windows 8, 
um, system, and I am new to that, but I have used it for a little bit. And so I did see that it was a one of those buttons right here. And I will be learning what to use that for because I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Um, one of the ASUS I, I, I researched, and it may be this model because I've been researching many computers, um, they don't have a removable battery. So this undoubtedly is one of them because... Let's see, is there anything else in the box? <laughs> this undoubtedly is one of them because that battery would have been really on top before I would have got to the plug. So I'm sure if this is not the same model I did research that didn't have the battery, I mean, it would have been something open where we could have saw it. So this is the model that doesn't have a removable battery. Somebody was saying in the message, well, how long does the battery last? I'm not sure, but I hope forever. <laughs> Here's a button. This is maybe the power button, which if so, is in a very awkward spot <laughs> to me. That's kind of odd. And this looks like some kind of volume up and down. That's just awkward. I mean, this is my first a Asus. For all I know, all the Asus's could have buttons in this exact spot. I'm used to a Lenovo for the last five years. And before that, I had an HP compact and recently if you subscribe to any of my videos i just recently bought two hps and took both of those hps back because they had both had issues different two different issues um so asus is new to me i wasn't open um to asus but after so many people recommended asus when they knew i was upset about the hp situation and i hope it turns out to be a really great um, experience with ASUS. Um, also, optical drivers right here. I'm saying the right optical drive. Mm -hmm. um, this was something that was important to me, so it was kind of cool that this had it. I was willing to buy one, um, but I didn't want to have to. But I would if I found a computer that had everything I needed and didn't have the optical drive. I, I was willing to buy it. Um, what's this like for a lock? I believe. Yeah. Um, some people want to lock their computer up or whatnot. Yeah. This is another USB, USB drive. So, yeah, this is integrated because of the mic and the headphone symbol is there. You can pick up on that. And that's an SD reader. Um, you can put, like, digital camera little cards can go in there. Maybe you have those little cards that you slip, stick inside a digital camera. So... And it has some indicator lights right here. I'm not sure what those mean yet. We'll know once we get this fired up. So go ahead and subscribe to me. Um, as I've heard and been told. And this does light up once the machine is on. Go ahead and subscribe. And you'll see me setting this machine up.